It's not often you see two cops failing to overpower someone, but this guy has everything under control. He refuses to yield, even when the two cops are on top of him. What's impressive, though, is his sheer strength. Once he's got control of his bike, however, it's pretty much game over for the officers. After all, they can't cope with the guy's strength, let alone the bike pulling away at the same time. Suspects can go to great lengths to avoid arrest, and we've all seen their escape devolve into high-speed police chases. This guy is no different, as he dramatically races through the freeway after a traffic stop. It's oh. four on the bridge. It's crashing on the bridge right now. Lake County, it just crashed on the bridge. The police are fully prepared, though, catching the suspect off guard with their road spikes and making him crash into the side of the bridge. What they don't realize, however, is the fact that this guy will do anything to escape the clutches of the law. It's on the top of the bridge right now. He's running right now. Looks like he might. He's like trying to hop off the bridge right now. In an audacious attempt to flee, the suspect jumps off the bridge into the river underneath. This is a massive drop, and he's probably going to be sore for weeks. But hey, anything for freedom, right? He's standing on the foot of the bridge. And he just jumped off the bridge. Well, turns out jumping from a bridge and swimming through a river isn't that easy after all because our suspect finds himself stranded in the middle with nowhere left to go. And before you know it, he's being rescued and arrested by officers on a police boat. Speaking of going to great lengths to escape the police, here's a stolen car speeding through Minnesota during an intense chase. There are two teenage suspects inside, and they're both being extremely reckless, so much so that they drive the vehicle off an overpass. Surprisingly, the teens escape the totaled car without any life-threatening injuries. The suspects don't even care that they've just had a massive crash as they get out and start running across the freeway. Once on foot and burdened by their injuries, there's only so much they can do. Despite their attempts to escape and outrun the police, it's only a matter of time before the officers catch up and make the arrest. Let's turn things down a notch and make them a little less dangerous for a sec, because this guy has been accused of carrying drugs with him to a festival, and now he's being chased through the streets by a police officer. There's no high-octane driving here, and let's be honest, the officer could have shown a little more haste. The suspect isn't exactly running away like the Flash and keeps stumbling in his effort to escape, but he does have a little trick up his sleeve. He stops himself to make it look like he's given up. However, as the officer thinks the chase is over, the suspect gets up and sprints away. He's quick and jumps into the river without hesitation, leaving the poor officer behind. His methods might not be graceful, but they are effective. For an escape route, there's nowhere to go, so she makes a daring leap, jumping from roof to roof, then hops off, landing on someone's car. Oh, that's uh, that's not. Believe it or not, the chase starts with her driving recklessly on the streets. She's a robbery suspect, and the police are after her. But she's a total daredevil, going to great lengths to avoid arrest. 
bizarre police chase started with the woman behind the wheel of this car, oh weaving through traffic in L.A., Whoa. coming dangerously close to hitting other drivers. It's only when she's unable to elude the police that she decides to get out and climb on top of a rooftop for her mind-blowing acrobatics. That said, she can't run forever, and it's only a matter of time until the officers catch up. This is where they're going to jump out. Unable to shake the cops, she pulls over and makes a run for it, along with her male passenger. To the roof she goes, thinking maybe that... As her last stand, she meets her partner in crime again on a roof and hugs him. Once they're done with their romance, it's finally time for this real handful of a couple to get arrested. The, gymnastics here. the woman meets up with her partner in crime on the top of a shed. Oh, there we go. After one last romantic hug, it's time to give up. Now here's one of the most bizarre police chases you're ever going to see. The Mustang driver's been wreaking havoc on the roads, driving off to the side and speeding his way through. But that's not it. This guy is here to have some fun with the police. He has a fast car, and there's no way the police can catch him in a straight line. So he proceeds to slow down at intersections, making it seem like he's ready to pull over, only to accelerate again right as the officers start getting out of their car. The chase continues for many more minutes, with the Mustang driver slowing down and speeding up again, and the officers don't seem to mind that either, going for three whole minutes without blaring out their first siren. It's a strange game of cat and mouse. It feels like the suspect could do this all day, but after being chased around for almost five minutes, he's had enough, and now he's ready to escape. So, he pulls onto the freeway, puts the pedal to the metal, and makes the police eat dust. Sometimes you haven't caught the suspect even when you have, and you can't afford to slack off until you've put handcuffs on him. These officers haven't gotten the memo, though, and think they've got everything under control. Well, at least until everything goes wrong. The suspect is quick-witted as he catches the officers off guard to escape the scene. Better yet, he's much faster on his feet than any of the cops, and from the looks of it, there's no way any of them are catching up to him. He's got stamina for days. Sure, the police could always call for backup and intercept him. But regardless of what happens now, he has made an absolute fool out of the cops, and they won't be happy about that one bit. Let's face it, police cars aren't exactly made to run off the tarmac, especially when up against an off-roading vehicle. So, when the officers decide to chase down this Polaris Razor, they're in for nothing but humiliation. The Razor is agile both on the road and through the fields, and the suspects driving it are also extremely reckless, making sharp turns at a whim. In fact, at one point, they even drive on two wheels to escape the police. It's a crazy chase with incredible twists and turns, as the cops keep up with the speeding vehicle despite all the obstacles for almost five minutes. However, once the Razor drives into some dense forest, it's game over for the police car. Sure, the officers try to rush into the woods on foot, but if they can't catch the suspects in their patrol vehicle, there's no chance they can do it while running. So after a few minutes of following tracks, the police eventually had to give up the chase. Once on foot and burdened by their injuries, there's only so much they can do. Despite their attempts to escape and outrun the police, it's only a matter of time before the officers catch up and make the arrest. I reversed into those cops right there. 
The truck was thrown into reverse and wove through the police cruisers that were trying to stop it. This is nuts. Going about. Now reversing out of a dead end is one thing, but the suspect also takes it to the next level by driving backward on the streets. And the police? They just let him reverse recklessly, hoping he crashes into something and stops by himself. Three miles per hour, the suspect continued to drive backwards through traffic with officers chasing. The trick gets old pretty quickly, and the suspect has to turn his car around at an intersection. Once it turns into an old school police chase, however, he's in the cop's playground, and things probably aren't going to work out for him. It finally spins around the correct direction, only to run into several parked cars. Predictably, the suspect loses control of his car and crashes. And from that point, it's your usual foot chase. But since he's been leading the police for a very long time, it doesn't last much longer as a police helicopter makes him give up. Oh no, no, no! The suspect took off on foot while the LAPD chopper shone a light on him. He eventually gave himself up to police. Here's a crazy scene from Australia as a man runs across the neighborhood with a police car behind him. The suspect has been driving recklessly across town, crashing into multiple vehicles on his way. The desperate man legs it down, liberator drive at Powellowie, trying to escape police who are hot on his... He's led the officers on a wild goose chase and has totaled a bunch of cars on the way, including his own. Better yet, he's incredibly quick and doesn't even need his car to elude the cops as he effortlessly climbs fences to escape. He runs into a driveway and jumps fences as officers sprint after him. Seconds before, his grey BMW station wagon crashed in. There's only so much you can run through the suburbs before being intercepted, though, and that turns out to be the downfall for this guy, too, as he's eventually arrested. Chased him through the northern suburbs at one stage, terminating the pursuit for safety reasons. The Monopara West man's been charged with multiple offences, including dangerous... Safe to say, he's in for a long sentence, We've all seen suspects diving into rivers to escape the police, but this guy has turned things up a notch by swimming into an ocean and getting a mile away from the shore. Believe it or not, he's been swimming for almost four hours. This guy thought he was being very clever, jumping into the ocean and swimming his way to freedom as he fled police. The suspect was involved in an armed robbery and made this latest escape after a traffic stop. Sure, he may have eluded the police, but he doesn't realize there's a much bigger and deadlier adversary right next to him. A massive shark. Pretty well, too, until this five foot long shark showed up. Luckily, the shark is far enough from him not to cause any trouble. As for the police, there's a helicopter chasing him, and there's not much he could do to swim away from that. So, after spending hours in the sea, the suspect has to return to shore. About four hours later, the suspect finally gave up and returned to shore, reluctantly. He just refused the groundwater to find. I spoke to King. A lot of criminals think that if they've got a fast car, they can afford to get into a police chase. And to be fair, suspects like this guy in a Mustang have the horsepower to outrun police vehicles. It's just that sometimes, speed isn't everything. Fast cars also burn a lot of gas, and if you're going to get into a situation like this, you must get your car topped up. Sadly, this suspect didn't quite get the memo, as his Mustang started slowing down right in the middle of the freeway. He's desperate, getting out and pushing his car off the freeway. But here's the kicker. He starts asking other people for help with his car, and someone in a high-vis jacket obliges, pushing the car with him. The suspect isn't going anywhere, though, because no matter how hard he tries to push his car, the police know exactly where he is. Within seconds, a police vehicle turns up for the arrest, making him abandon his car and run for his life. Now this one's straight out of Russia, from the early days of the pandemic lockdown. The National Guard is out to enforce the curfew and make people self-isolate, but this guy outside his house isn't having any of it. <laughs> the situation escalates within seconds, 
with the guy making a run for it to avoid the National Guard. He's incredibly athletic as he makes his way through the block while dodging the guards. And of course, his neighbors are loving the show. <laughs> <laughs> Once he's humiliated the National Guard and shown them who their boss is, the guy decides to return to his home. And with some help from other people, he gets inside without being caught. <laughs> He's probably a hero in that neighborhood now. High-speed chases often end up with the suspect crashing the car somewhere. However, this guy seemed to know what he was doing, as he not only approached speeds of over 140 miles per hour, 225 kilometers per hour, but he also weaved through traffic like it was child's play. And Donahue and Casey K, about one o'clock, quickly realized this white Mercedes had been stolen out of Johnson County about a month ago. The driver, thought to be in his 50s, dangerous. He was pulled over for speeding before the police realized he was in a stolen car, triggering this chase. However, that was just the tip of the iceberg, as the reckless suspect also dropped off a woman in the middle of the road before eventually abandoning his car. He weaves through traffic, ignoring all stoplights, and only slowed there at 87th and Lenexa Drive to release a female from the passenger side door. Chopper 5 got a good shot. Interestingly, he tried to steal another car parked nearby. However, even though the car was unlocked, the suspect couldn't get it to start. So he decided to run inside the warehouse building instead. American Auto Interiors near 87th and Santa Fe. And we watched from above as he attempted to get into a bright blue unlocked car, but was unsuccessful in starting it, so... Now, at this point, the police thought they had their man cornered because surely he couldn't escape from the warehouse, right? This guy did outsmart everyone as he stole another car to escape the cops, instead inside the business as several workers came out to alert police. Somehow, he successfully got away stealing a white Toyota Venza. And Speaking of elusive suspects, this guy has mastered the art of avoiding the police. He slows himself down during the chase, letting police vehicles get in formation around him before weaving his way through them. Englewood streets here. This is holiday light traffic on a pretty uh, mellow week here. And look at this, oh, what? look at this, I have oh. never seen. What's even more fascinating, however, is that he manages to pull off the same move for the second time, letting the police catch up to him before weaving his way through traffic. He enjoys toying with cop cars. I would venture to say they've probably, at this point, maybe put the idea of a pit maneuver on hold. Oh, look at this, that. another attempt to come up in front of him here. And Better yet, after pulling these stunts and making fools out of the police patrol vehicles, the guy just continues to drive like nothing's happened, pulling a Coke bottle out of his glove box and waving it around his car. California, we very rarely see them box these vehicles in. It's something that's much more common in other jurisdictions around the country. But look at that. This is your average traffic stop, as the police officer noticed the car's expired tags. But there's a lot more going on here than you'd think because the suspect is under the influence of some drug as well. He's visibly nervous during questioning and fails to produce any identification. But here's the kicker. As soon as the officer returns to his vehicle to check his fingerprints, the suspect decides to run for it and flee. It's an intense chase as the officer tries to catch up with the suspect. But even though he was acting shifty earlier, the suspect seems to have full control over his car, making a quick turn to merge onto the exit ramp at incredibly high speeds. Sure, the police officer follows him through that one turn, but there's no stopping this guy. He's extremely quick and even a slight contact could be devastating. So, when he does another quick turn off the road, the officer has no choice but to give up. This car has three home invasion suspects inside, and they've been leading the police on this wild goose chase ever since a deputy tried to pull them over for questioning. But that's not the only reason they want to get away from the cops.
Precinct 1 says the driver of this old Buick kept going when a deputy tried to pull... The chase is long, but the officer isn't having trouble keeping up with the car. The deputy makes them run into a dead end. But here's the thing. The three suspects abandon their car immediately and make a run for it. Blared as the chase weaved through a northeast Houston neighborhood, but a dead end brought an end to the brief pursuit, and dash cam video shows the driver and two other men. As for the reason why they're so quick to run, well, it turns out their car was full of weapons and drugs, and they would have been in a whole lot of trouble if they were caught with that stuff. Behind, take a look at the cache of weapons recovered from the car, including a shotgun, handguns, and rifles, one with a bump stock making it fully automatic. They get the last laugh as they vanish into the woods and escape. This pursuit looks like a scene straight out of an action movie as the police vehicle gets to within inches of the suspect's car. But things are about to get crazier as the suspect reaches speeds of over 150 miles per hour, 240 kilometers per hour, to get away. He's turned around in the road. 1037. Turn right. The reckless driver weaves through the interstate traffic, almost causing massive crashes, and he's willing to go to any length to get out of this situation. However, speed alone isn't enough for him to escape here. In what can only be described as an audacious maneuver, the suspect makes a quick U-turn and slides into the oncoming lane before speeding off into the distance. And to be fair, that does mean the police vehicle can't follow him anymore. He's going the wrong way. He's going the wrong way. The deputy has just pulled over a speeding vehicle for a traffic stop, and the driver does comply. But things aren't as simple as they seem, because as soon as the officer tries to approach the driver, he accelerates away triggering a pursuit. The chase continues for a while, with the suspect weaving through traffic and switching routes. All this reckless driving takes a toll on his car, though, as he's now got a broken bumper and a punctured tire. But, if a blown-out tyre wasn't bad enough, the suspect fully lost it at one point during the chase too. And yet, he continues driving like nothing's happened. It's an incredible sight, and even the officer can't believe what he's witnessing. However, despite all the damage to his car, the suspect does manage to cross the state line with three wheels, making the officer abandon his pursuit. The Dodge Challenger bears the tag of another car, prompting the police officer to attempt a traffic stop. However, the driver doesn't have any of it, as he accelerates and initiates another hot pursuit. The suspect is extremely quick, and keeping up with him is going to be very hard for the officer. In fact, at one point, the Challenger hit 161 miles per hour. <laughs> 260 kilometers per hour, which is lightning fast, especially through traffic. Incredibly, the officer keeps up with the suspect for as long as he does, but that's to be expected on a freeway. However, once the Challenger exits into town, it's basically game over for the police vehicle. And before you know it, the suspect has escaped. You'll recognize this scenario if you're a fan of the original Fast and Furious. It involves old-fashioned street racing with a police officer trying to shut it down. The racers are quick, but the officer remains on their tail, following them through the city roads. And his persistence pays off too, because he runs into a suspect's crashed car. The only issue is that the driver has abandoned it.
From this point, the chase continues on foot, but let's be real, it's a bit too late for that because the suspects have already escaped. Now here's a real mystery. The suspect has just parked next to a building and is headed towards it. But even though the police helicopter is on top, the view is blocked. So is the suspect going to come out of the other side? He's looking around at me. He's, he's, he's engaged with other. There he is with his blue shirt. Now he's running. He's on the move. And that river... Well, a black car pulling out of the parking lot resembles the suspect's old car. Here's the tricky bit, though. The old car is still there, and a woman runs into the other black car. It's a... Hey, that's... that's... Oh, uh, no. See, that looks like... Hold on a second. There's... So no one knows whether the suspect has switched his car. It's absolute chaos among the police as they arrive at the scene, only to find an empty car. No one seems to know how the suspect switched cars and escaped the scene without anyone tracking him down. It's disabled. It's done. It's done. It, that's, that car's done. I saw it. I can still see it disabled. Uh, it, it, it ran it now. Here's a suspect who managed to escape the police after a high-speed chase. However, even though the cops aren't following him anymore, the helicopter is. So now, he must also find a way to shake off the cameras. Last we saw it was near Bayless, southbound on Broadway at this point, and it, uh, as we've been monitoring, it's... The suspect hits a dead-end alley, thinking it's safe. However, the pesky news helicopter still had him in its sights, so the driver had to get back in and reverse his way out. Outran. It, ra it outran the chopper. Now, we're being told this is a dead end by the folks in our in Bomberito Automotive Skybox. The suspect's trying all sorts of things, driving into people's backyards to find some shelter where he could hide his car and escape unnoticed. And maybe he's found exactly that as he spots an open garage. Skyfox uh, clocked it at going 115 miles per hour. It looks as though this car just pulled in to an open garage in the... With that said, the police have no clue about what's just happened. So even if they were to find the suspect's car now, he's probably been long gone. Here's another case of someone pulling over, talking to the police, and then deciding it's not worth their time. This guy has only done a minor traffic violation and seems to be cooperating with the deputy. But he's got a fast car, and we all know what that means. That dark cell? Okay, I got you. Just one second, okay? You ain't got any weapons in the vehicle, nothing like that. No guns or anything. Okay. After some questioning and running the ID, the deputy realizes the guy has a warrant against him. However, when the officer asks him to step out, the man accelerates and races into the distance. And now, it's time for the chase. The police vehicle tries to accelerate and engage in the pursuit, but they've got no chance of matching the Mustang's pace, let alone catching up. So, the chase is over before it's even begun, and the suspect lives to see another day. Let's go to LA where the police are in another high-speed pursuit on the freeway. The suspect is weaving through traffic like a pro, but he has to do more than just drive fast if he wants to lose sight of the helicopter. ...as to the position of the location of this of this car, so just giving him some space, hoping that he will, you know, keep the speeds at a... Uh, uh... The suspect knows what he's doing as he drives off the freeway and makes his way underneath the freeway bridge. The helicopter expects him to emerge from the other side, but the guy has already outsmarted everyone and disappeared into thin air. Um, let's see, near the Universal area, uh, Universal City area, okay, now making a westbound turn underneath the 101 freeway. <coughs> Hopefully, uh, we'll see. Even when the cameraman scans the area to find the suspect, he keeps tagging the wrong cars. And since the police have no ground vehicles chasing him, he can't be caught if he's still under the bridge. And uh, that, that might be, no, that's a, that's a different model. Looking pretty close. Oh boy, okay, so here we go. Uh... The police have just spotted this stolen vehicle on the freeway and are now trying to find the best way to chase it down without causing an accident. Thinking in their own minds, hey, what is my chance of getting away here? I think we're starting to see the night sun back on them. Uh, what is my chance of getting away here? Because if they were thinking clearly, they would be... 
Ironically, right as the news broadcast says that the police are monitoring the area. Engage CHP has, and uh, you know you mentioned all the uh, oh, getting close. all the charges like... that they rack up going the wrong way, going through a big intersection. There's a well, person across. Right. The suspect makes a right turn and disappears behind the building, and well, after that, there's no catching him. There, lickety split. If something was to happen, this guy was to decide to pull over and give up, or if mm -hmm. there was an accident, or something like that. Oh, they're in the um, area. They are in the area, and they are monitoring. Here's another suspect trying to find a place to ditch their vehicle and make a run for it. The police don't seem to be in close proximity, but the broadcast helicopter's still on the suspect's tail. You just don't know what the suspect's going to do. Yeah, a lot of twists and turns but here. Look, is he getting out? No, it nope, looks like he's reversed. trying to back up a little bit. Uh, it looks like... The suspect pulls into a parking lot, parks the truck, and proceeds to run out of the building. He thinks the police fool him, but the cameras can see him climbing over the fence and making a run for it. A little bit from that chopper, though. Oh, there. Is that him? Yeah. Oh, threw a bag. So he threw a bag over here. Off the fence. Wearing gloves, it looks like. Yeah. After some impressive acrobatics, the suspect breaks into a home and disappears behind the building. Now, no one knows whether he goes in or uses the house as cover, because once the camera loses track, the suspect escapes. The scary situation here is hopefully he doesn't try to take anybody uh, hostage here or go inside of an area there. That could, that could be very... The police have just conducted a traffic stop on this Corvette for its tinted windows, but they've noticed something fishy. Even though the car's stopped, it hasn't been put into park yet, so there's a good chance this guy will take off soon. As predicted, the Corvette starts driving off right as the officer gets ready to get out. Interestingly, however, the suspect drops the passenger off before putting the pedal to the metal, which catches the police off guard. The Corvette flies off into the distance within seconds, and the only way to stop the suspect is to intercept him somewhere else. With that said, the driver is just too quick, and even a blockade isn't enough to stop him. Speaking of fast cars in police chases, here's an officer trying to make a McLaren P1 and a bunch of other supercars pull over to the side of the road. The McLaren does slow down a little, giving false hope to the officer, but that moment of joy is short-lived as the supercar's V8 engine roars and outruns the police vehicle in the blink of an eye. Maybe the Dubai police force would have a better chance of chasing these guys down. This is a bit of an unconventional police chase, as there's no freeway here and the roads are narrow. Many people would try to drive into the woods to escape, but that's never a great option. So, who's going to come out on top here? There's no point in elongating the chase, so the police vehicle goes for a pit maneuver. However, in trying to hit the car's backside and make it stop, the officer throws his car stuck off the road. The suspect has the last laugh after all. One afternoon in Corpus Christi, a state trooper watches on the freeway. The twilight sky watched as a green 1995 Chevy Suburban zoomed by at high speed. The tension was palpable. Later, the Suburban suddenly crashed into a wall. To make matters worse, flames began to engulf the vehicle. Without hesitation, the police officer reacts quickly. He immediately moved toward the burning car. With great courage, he breaks the window with his baton. Arriving beside the burning car, the officer maintains his focus. He sees a man, 29 years old, inside the threatened vehicle. The window is broken, and with a quick movement, the officer gets into the car. Two men came to his aid and pulled the man out of the car, which was engulfed in flames. Once outside, the man was immediately transported to a nearby hospital for treatment.
In the middle of the street, a police car speeds by, chasing a fleeing motorcyclist. However, the end of this creates an exciting moment. The motorcyclist continues to sprint away. The police try to close the distance. However, the motorcyclist, not giving up, continues to flee and gets away from the police car. They were arriving at an intersection. The motorcyclist turns and continues to flee. Amid the tension, the motorcyclist loses control at high speed, triggering a tragic moment. The motorcycle spins out of control and crashes into the wall of a neighbor's house, instantly killing him. The crash throws the motorcyclist onto the street. Behind him, a police car quickly pulled up. Two policemen got out and immediately caught the fallen motorcyclist, the end of a tense chase on a quiet street. In Excelsior Springs, Missouri, a series of unexpected events lead to a night of excitement. Police officers are involved in an unusual car chase. In the darkness of the night, tension creeps into the air as the truck carrying a large house down the highway becomes the intense object of a tense chase, the truck speeding through the city streets at 30 miles per hour. Police efforts to stop the big rig reached a critical point. Attempts to pull a spike strip to damage the truck's tires failed. The truck continues to drive, leading to an increasingly violent chase. Meanwhile, the suspected drunk driver behind the wheel of the truck adds another layer of tension. In a pivotal moment, the truck turns into a small street. Suddenly, the truck swerves, hitting the street sign and causing chaos. In an instant, police officers seized the opportunity and managed to arrest the driver. The driver is then hauled off to jail in the dark of night. Amid lousy weather, a dash cam captures the dramatic moment Arkansas State Troopers begin chasing a motorist who refuses to stop. On a wet road, a motorcyclist defies police orders to stop. Bad weather conditions and slippery roads add to the intensity of the chase. The motorcyclist continues at high speed through the rain. The chase culminates at an intersection. The motorcyclist crosses the intersection at high speed. However, as events continue, an unexpected drama ensues. Suddenly, the motorcyclist loses his balance and falls to the side of the road, causing an inevitable accident. The motorcyclist is seen falling and rolling. The police immediately confront the situation. With guns drawn, the fallen motorcyclist approaches the road and surrenders after a stern reprimand. Stop! Right there! Stop! Stop! Show me your hands now! On the side of a dark road, a policeman watches the night with the lights of his car turned off. However, the silence is suddenly broken by the appearance of two drunken youths on an off-road motorcycle. In an instant, the peaceful situation turns into an unexpected chase. At high speed, the drunken motorcyclists speed past the surprised police. Without hesitation, the police immediately retaliated by turning on the siren and starting a chase. The chase begins in the middle of the night, through the city's deserted streets. The fearless biker takes unexpected routes, daring the police to keep up. The drunk biker enters a small road that leads to a field where cars cannot pass. The police are forced to swerve, creating an even more complicated story. The bikers found themselves cornered in a cul-de-sac enclosed by a fence. The police initially lost track of them, only to rediscover them at the dead end. The biker, aware of the police presence, wasted no time. When approached, he fled without hesitation, sparking an exhilarating chase. Eventually, thanks to the persistent efforts of the officers, the driver and passenger were apprehended and turned over to the police. In this incident in Jacksonville, Arkansas, police had a unique moment during a chase. Officers were conducting a routine patrol and came across a white sedan that had been targeted by officers not recklessly. Officers followed the car from behind. The driver, who panicked when he realized he was being followed by a police car, stopped and continued. He got out of his car and fled with his pants sagging. On the night of September 9th, 2021, during his routine patrol in Albuquerque, the NSMP officer unexpectedly stumbled upon an adrenaline-fueled incident. That night, NSMP officers were on patrol, looking for stolen vehicles at a hotel near I-40 and I-25. At 12.30 a.m., a white pickup truck suddenly left the parking lot, triggering a chase by the officers. The driver continued to attempt to flee. While traveling at a high rate of speed in the alley, the driver lost control of his vehicle and crashed into a cinder block wall. Put your hands up! Hands up or I will shoot you! Since the car was stuck, the police immediately stopped the person in the car. Then, a woman is seen getting out of the car, and a man follows the woman out of the stolen car. This action led to their arrest and detention for further questioning. Okay, take it slow. I want you to get hurt. 
In the middle of a silent night, a TXDPS trooper witnesses the unexpected tension of a Chevrolet Silverado suddenly stopping in the middle of the road. As the trooper approached the suddenly stopped vehicle, both doors opened simultaneously. About eight illegal immigrants got out quickly and ran towards the bushes. They were creating a tense atmosphere in the night. <laughs> The moment of darkness is heightened when the driver from Uvalde proves unwilling to give up. In a desperate attempt to escape, the police, who saw him running away on the side of the road, immediately gave chase in a car. Officers managed to catch the driver, who now faces serious charges, including evading arrest and people smuggling. On the streets of North Little Rock, Arkansas, dramatic action was captured on dashcam when police managed to stop a chase in full swing. This tense situation unfolded when the police identified a car attempting to escape just as they were about to pull it over. The driver ignored the officer's commands and fled on foot. At the exit ramp, the police had set up a spike trip, but to no avail, and continued the chase. The driver continued to elude the officers. He then attempted to swerve and enter the parking lot. Seeing an opportunity, the officer decisively performed a pit maneuver. The perpetrator's car continued to be pushed to a building. At that time, the perpetrator was seen raising both hands. When the vehicle stopped, officers quickly came out and pulled the suspect out at gunpoint. The suspect was eventually arrested for fleeing from officers. On the busy, bustling streets of Little Rock, Arkansas, we witness the thrilling action as Arkansas State Troopers Dashcam captures the exciting pursuit of a man riding an ATV on the interstates. The chase began in earnest when a man chose to flee on an ATV on the interstates in Little Rock and North Little Rock, Arkansas. The man was not even wearing a helmet. During the chase, when one of the ATV's tires suddenly came off and rolled down the road, the man continued his rapid escape despite this incident. The intense pursuit continued. Before long, with one tire missing, the man finally decided to pull over and stop his ATV. A swift police presence immediately took over, arresting the man and ending the drama-filled chase on a busy street. In the glittering city of Prague, a tense incident unfolds when a driver suspected of carrying illicit drugs triggers a police chase. The chase begins when police receive information about a driver suspected of being involved in illicit drug trafficking. Swiftly, the police began a chase through the small streets of Prague. At the end of the chase, the tension peaks when the fleeing driver almost has an accident at the end of the small street, forcing the driver to stop because he is stuck at the end of the road. The police came out swiftly, arresting the driver. Upon the arrest, officers discovered a substantial quantity of various types of narcotics and even an illegal pistol, providing compelling evidence to detain the driver and take them to jail. On the streets of the state of Arkansas, the tension is palpable. State trooper Robert Rome was involved in a high-speed chase with a Chevrolet sedan driver who refused to stop. A gas station witnessed the beginning of the tension as the trooper was about to stop the Chevrolet sedan for violating the law. However, when the driver became aware of the police presence, the sedan quickly fled, sparking a wild chase through the streets. The sedan swerved at high speed, preventing the officer from performing a pit maneuver on the car, but the effort was in vain as the car continued to accelerate, leaving the police behind. The tension continued as the driver of the Chevrolet sedan continued to try to evade the pursuit. A turn onto a small road, which turned out to be a dead end, became an opportunity for the police to perform a pit maneuver, which was successful, and the car came to a stop. When the driver of the Chevrolet sedan surrendered after a successful pit maneuver, the police officer pointed a gun at the driver and then arrested him. In Little Rock, Arkansas, a police officer, Nelson, is intensely pursuing a stolen Chevy Silverado. But what begins as a routine task turns into a dramatic moment. On the road in Little Rock, Officer Nelson began a pursuit of a stolen Chevy Silverado. Suddenly, the Chevy Silverado veered off the road and onto another road, making the chase even more severe. Let me now. 
The chase continued into a winding area. However, the story took an unexpected turn as Officer Nelson lost control of his patrol car. An inevitable accident seriously damaged the patrol car's front tires and axles. The stolen Chevy Silverado was also not spared from the accident. And the suspect behind the wheel was arrested by other officers who arrived at the scene. On Highway 440 East, North Little Rock, an Arkansas state trooper named Niles begins a routine stop that turns into an unexpected experience. With great caution, Trooper Niles stopped a black Lexus IS 250 on Highway 440 East. Steve Adams was found with a silver handgun between the console and the passenger seat. A simple request for a driver's license turns into a moment of panic as Adams decides to flee at high speed. The chase culminates with Adams violating every safety rule in the book. Trooper Niles successfully executed a pit maneuver on Highway 440 West in an exciting series of events. The pit caused the car to roll over. As tensions rose, a firearm was placed near the suspect. Trooper Niles had to act quickly and decisively to secure the area by taking the gun. Eventually, the driver of the car was rescued and taken into custody by Trooper Niles. In Rice Lake, Wisconsin, tensions run high as a stolen U-Haul van, spotted by police around a parking lot, attempts to flee, prompting a thrilling police chase. The chase began at high speed on Rice Lake, chasing a U-Haul van stolen by a driver, fleeing at high speed. We on Decker Drive, headed back towards Highway Old. The stolen vehicle showed no signs of slowing down. The police kept trying to intercept and stop the speeding U-Haul van. In the uncertainty, the vehicle's wheels suddenly came off and began to lessen the chase's intensity. As the wheel disappeared, the situation became easier to condition. After a brief period of driving with one tire off, the U-Haul van eventually came to a halt and officers got ready to apprehend the suspect. Upon investigation, the driver was found in possession of meth, leading to their arrest and transportation to Barron County Jail. On a night in Rogers, Arkansas, a tense chase involves a police officer named Trooper Surrett after receiving an alert about a U-Haul rental truck fleeing the Springdale Police Department. Trooper Surrett responded to the alert quickly, tracking the U-Haul truck through the deserted streets of Rogers. Over the radio, he confirms that the vehicle is legitimate, but tensions rise when he gets confirmation that it is the vehicle that escaped from Springdale. The chase begins in the middle of the night. The chase involves complicated maneuvers along the winding city streets. At the height of the chase, Trooper Surrett made the tactical decision to stop the vehicle with a pit. This tactic made the truck spin, but the tense atmosphere did not end there. The suspected driver still attempted to flee in his vehicle, prompting decisive action from the officers. The intense confrontation continued, and the trooper took physical action to secure the situation. Eventually, this incident ended with an arrest on the dark streets of Rogers, Arkansas. On the sunny morning of August 4, 2022, Trooper Dustin Arnold found himself in hot pursuit of a white Chrysler 200 with illegible paper tags. He was the perpetrator of a violent chase on Interstate 30, Arkansas. Trooper Arnold alertly activated his blue lights to conduct a routine stop at the 88-mile marker. However, what was expected turned into a dramatic chase when the suspect vehicle fled at high speed. Tension peaked as the chase passed through the truck area at Loves. The suspect, at high speed, dodged almost everything in his path, including almost hitting a gas station worker who was at work. The pursuit chased the vehicle onto minor roads and sharp turns, with Trooper Arnold trying various maneuvers. Finally, Trooper Kendrick Davis ended the chase, successfully performing a pit maneuver on the car. And with that maneuver, the suspect was taken into custody. Be very 
In the city of St. Paul, a quiet night is suddenly tense as police pull over a black driver who refuses to give up. It's a tense scene on the streets of this city. A black sedan driver, having previously escaped from police pursuit, is stopped by the police. The police wanted to check on him and asked him to leave his car. I just want to talk to you about a few things. You're not under arrest or anything right now. Okay. This is your car? You work yes, here? Yeah. Come on over here. Not, yeah. A fierce fight erupted when the driver tried to get back into his car, sparking tension, and the police tried to get him out of the car, but after being pulled out, he quickly fled on foot. You're being get back! Car. Get back here! You're being weird, bro. I, I get! Get! Get out! Police officers, without hesitation, gave chase. The driver had other plans. He returned to his car in hopes of making a dramatic escape. A fight between the police and the driver was inevitable. Get out, get out. Get out. With courage and the help of other officers who arrived, the officers managed to overcome the driver's resistance and take him into custody. Relax! Hands! Relax! Let go! Let go! On June 20th, 2019, a Chevrolet Impala was involved in a dramatic chase on Interstate 30 that caused chaos. The driver, Ricky Pennington, had an outstanding felony warrant. Trooper Quincy Harris received a pursuit report and caught up with the Impala. Troopers traveled down Interstate 30 East, reaching speeds over 100 miles per hour. Troopers located and pursued the offender. <laughs> The Impala struck another vehicle during the pursuit, causing a flat and damaged rear tire. Despite the flat tire and damage, the car continued to flee. The officer continued in pursuit and made a last-ditch effort with a pit maneuver. The maneuver caused the Impala to lose control at a high rate of speed, causing an accident and then stopping. Not wanting to lose the opportunity, the police pointed a gun at the car and the driver got out and was immediately taken into custody. On June 8th, Prince George's County Police Corporal Antionette Williams was involved in an incident that would change the day. At 6.30 a.m., Corporal Williams, at the intersection of Harry S. Truman Drive and White House Road, caught the attention of two cars that began following her and became a chase when the cars realized the arrival of police. The speed increased, however, as one of the cars attempting to flee crossed the double yellow line and crashed into an innocent vehicle, creating an inevitable tragedy. Officers immediately attempted to provide medical assistance to Mr. Johnny Morris. Johnny Morris. Paramedics arrived and transported Morris to a local hospital. In the city of Little Rock, Arkansas, Arkansas state troopers engage in a chase that involves dangerous maneuvers on city streets. The suspect's car evaded every attempted stop through the streets of Little Rock. Troopers meticulously tried pit maneuvers, but each attempt failed. The chase intensified as Arkansas state troopers continued to encounter difficulties. The pursuit continued until finally, in the tension of the escape, the suspect's car crashed into a truck, causing it to be badly damaged. In a state that was beginning to come under control, guns were drawn, pointing at the driver, while the suspect still managed to escape. Let's jump to the next moment. On a highway, a motorcyclist is involved in a dramatic chase with police officers. Arkansas police are involved in a high-speed chase of a motorcyclist. When asked to stop, the driver was uncooperative and increased his speed. A high-speed pursuit was inevitable. The chase intensified as the police continued to pursue the motorcyclist. Speeds reached 140 miles per hour and the police caught up with the motorcyclist and forced him to stop. Thinking he could not get away, the motorcyclist finally pulled over and followed the officer's instructions. In a tense situation, the officer first firmly apprehended the motorcyclist and took him into custody for further investigation. Hey, get the Amidst the hustle and bustle of a highway in Kinney County, Texas, a dashboard camera captures the tense moments of a high-speed chase involving a seven-year-old child. The silence in Kinney County is shattered when a red SUV attracts the attention of Texas state troopers. The stop driver fled, sparking a high-speed chase that reached 110 miles per hour. Oh. <laughs> 
the driver exacerbated the situation by steering the vehicle toward Laughlin Air Force Base. Eventually, the car crashed into the barrier, ending the chase. At the same time, officers rescued the seven-year-old child in the car, whom the perpetrator was suspected of smuggling. The driver was arrested and faces several serious charges. On the overcast morning of March 3rd, 2023, Trooper Morris and Trooper Fultz of the Arkansas Troopers were determined to stop a recently stolen red GMC Sierra, embarking on an unexpected and dangerous experience on the I-40 freeway. In overcast weather and crowded road conditions, tensions rise as Trooper Morris sees a suspicious vehicle near the 276-mile marker. Without waiting, they begin pursuit, realizing that their speed is approaching 100 miles per hour. The suspicious vehicle begins to overtake other motorists. Trooper Morris makes a bold decision. Trooper Morris manages to execute a successful TVI, turning the suspect vehicle around and ending the dangerous chase. During the chaseover, the trooper immediately acted to detain the driver. Identified as Jeremiah Green, with a warrant for extradition for the crime of theft of property, he unmasked several criminal acts he was involved in. On Interstate 40, near the 165-mile marker, Trooper A. Escamilla stopped a white Chrysler Pacifica with Ohio plates for suspicious behavior. Trooper Escamilla conducted a traffic stop after observing the vehicle fail to maintain its lane. Contact with the driver, Abubakar Diallo, revealed tension. The troopers smelled a strong odor of marijuana coming from the vehicle. Diallo was asked to exit the vehicle for further questioning. Although a search of Diallo's body was negative, the trooper took Diallo into his car while the trooper decided to search the vehicle. To his surprise, the trooper found three Three large duffel bags of marijuana, a duffel bag, and a large amount of US currency. Upon discovering this, the trooper took Diallo in for further processing. On Friday, December 1st, 2023, on Ingram Extended near Southland Doctor, officers from the Arkansas State Police engaged in a high-speed chase while stopping a dark-colored Chevrolet Malibu for violating the speed limit. The Chevrolet Malibu refused to stop. Mercilessly, the Malibu sped south across the interstate overpass at an increasing speed, reaching over 90 miles per hour. The Malibu persisted in disregarding the order to stop, reaching speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour. The officer tried a TVI maneuver to bring the Malibu to a halt. The TVI maneuver Maneuver successfully forced the Malibu to spin and crash into a concrete parapet, ending the chase. The dangerous situation was coming to a close. Trooper Gunnar Fultz detained the driver and passenger without further incident. A night in Pawpaw, November 21st, 2023, witnessed an exciting event. A woman leading the police on a dangerous chase with a four-year-old child in the back seat. The vehicle crosses the road at high speed, taking sharp turns. The officers try their best to stop the woman's vehicle. The climax occurs when the woman is finally stopped. However, she gets out of the car and tries to run away. At the moment of arrest, the officer noticed a four-year-old child in the back seat. The woman, now in custody, faced the consequences of her actions. In Pottsville, Arkansas, on October 30th, 2022, a police officer named Huffman is conducting a routine traffic stop. A passenger unexpectedly performs an action that makes the police suspicious. After the stop, without provocation or warning, the male passenger, Zachary Red Dominguez, suddenly decided to run. Dispatch, I've got one running on foot. Officers then questioned the woman driving the car, but she did not recognize the man. At that point, the police reminded her not to give rides to strangers and let the woman go. Don't be picking people up because this is the stuff that happens and then you get sucked into something. Okay. 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 Drive safe. Have a good day. 
November 30th, 2023, at the Arkansas border, the Roland Police Department of Oklahoma gave chase to a maroon Ford F-150 truck with Oklahoma license plate GPL 898. Roland police were notified of suspicious behavior and a strong odor of marijuana inside. In heavy rain, Arkansas officers were ready to confront the vehicle. Shortly after crossing the state line, the truck was spotted on Interstate 40 and the chase began. The truck evaded pursuit by turning onto Access Road 121. Officers continued to pursue the truck. Using cautious tactics, officers could stop the vehicle, ending the long pursuit. Upon confrontation, the driver exited his vehicle and police immediately detained the driver, identified as Ricky Walters, and a search of his vehicle revealed narcotics and drug paraphernalia, proving the motivation for his escape. One night in Sterling Heights, a police chase involving a man in his early 60s started as an ordinary traffic stop turned into a dramatic and suspenseful moment. The police were about to stop this suspicious car. Instead of slowing down and pulling over, the driver runs away and runs the car at high speed. The chase continued until it became a serious incident as the car lost control and hit the side of the semi-truck. Lieutenant James Belmonte of the Sterling Heights Police stated that the man was lucky to be alive, considering how severe the accident was. As a result of the accident, the driver suffered severe injuries, including a broken collarbone, arm and ribs. <laughs>